welcome you guys to a new series on my channel. This one's called Challenge Stratego. So the first challenge we have here is that we can we are allowed to place five pieces down. Then we're gonna do fill in the blanks, and then we're gonna place, uh, and, and then we're gonna swap five pieces. So then we, we can get. So the setup will, will be pretty pretty okay, but like it won't be like the ideal setup. So um. So yeah, this series I'm doing on an account that's slightly lower rated than my um, other one because I don't really want to like, like lose a lot of elo on that one, and also I'll be facing a lot of better opponents. So, so yeah, I'm just gonna count that I used like a really long time ago for this, and yeah, I'm just gonna see how it goes. I'm trying to be original with these challenges, so so yeah, so I'm putting down my highest pieces as usual, making sure the bombs, fl uh, the flags bombed in. We're gonna get the general, the spy, colonel, marshal, other colonel, and a bomb. Now, now we're just gonna hit fill in the blanks and see what we get. But first, I actually went in with the general, the colonel, and the spy. I have one more, just for the trap. All right, so that's all right. There are some changes that I'm gonna want to make. Like I might want to remove that. I'm gonna change that front bomb or something. So I do have five changes that that I can make. Okay, so since those captains are stacked, I think I want to move one of them. I'm going to replace it with the sergeant, I think, because it, it's a high-ranking piece, and I don't really want to reveal my, my colonel for, like, nothing good. So that miter in the front has to go, because I don't want to reveal my general for, like, a sergeant. So yeah, you always want to have my, some miners in the back, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change that out with the sergeant in the front. So that's two of my five changes done. It's so, like, you can't have a corner major. So I'm gonna make it. I think I'm gonna make it guard the minor, so just so then we actually have some de some de defense on it. So that's three changes. I think I'm, yeah, I'm really thinking about moving that front bomb. So we're, we might, might put it in the corner, might put it something somewhere else though. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna put it there because yeah, or maybe there or there. Yeah, I'm gonna put it over there because so, you might I might get more lottos over there. Okay, so that's uh, four. I'm gonna move this major just so I, I don't I don't have two majors like like very clustered. So yeah, I actually want to move it with, with that scout. All right, so yeah, okay, I think think that's good. So we did our five changes. So now let's hit ready and get into the game. So we are facing a bronze sergeant. So I don't really expect too much from this guy, but we 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 are, we are doing a challenge. So yeah, his record's about 500. So let's get into this game. Okay, let's move, start advancing in the center. Looks like he's opening up on both sides. Yeah, those two miners in the front are not going to be that great. Let's move the captain up because I don't want to reveal my gen for like nothing good. So got two pieces in, in the left and the right. Yeah, again, about 50% ratio. M moving down a third piece. Let's start opening up the center. Okay, that is a known scout. Let's move up a miner on that because I don't think I'm fighting the lieutenant. Okay, he's going to hit it. That's strange because we, we knew that was a scout. Okay, interesting. That piece, eh, I don't know how to feel about that. Probably a lieutenant or something. Maybe a captain, who knows. Okay, she trades in the center, let's hit that. It's front row piece. Sergeant, that's pretty lucky. Does he have anything backing it? Nope. Okay, he just takes a scout with the sergeant. That's not great. Let's get that with lieutenant. We can get it on the, on the two square. So he's trying the two square us there. That, that's not, not gonna happen. Okay, um, well, I would. Okay, I'm just gonna take the sergeant. I don't know why. He, that guy really, really moved up on that. I can scout that now. But, but yeah, I'm just gonna three square this guy because I can. I don't really want to lose, lose lieutenant. Doesn't really matter what that is. So let's see, moving next to all those things. That makes me think it's not very good. It pro probably not the marshal general or colonel. Could be major. I, th I think he just got the message that he can't keep chasing me. That's because he paused for some time. So I I'm gonna scout that next chance I get. Hopefully it's something good. 
Okay, that kind of sucks. It's just another lieutenant, but it's fine. I, I, I guess we'll trade off. See if we can hit it with the captain. Uh, yeah, we should re retreat in the right, though, because I don't really want to lose the lieutenant. It makes me think that's the captain, because it's working the pieces. So I'm just going to move the major up. And yep, it was a captain. So let's take that, take that with the major. I'm glad I moved it up. Okay, I don't, I don't know how to feel about that. I doubt that's a colonel, but I guess it could be. Let's scout it just to see, see what it is. Okay, so it is a colonel. That is very strange. That, it's not... I don't think that's a common colonel spot. I mean, but then again, I, I do have a colonel in that exact spot, actually. And I actually did place, place it there myself, so we're obviously not, not going to let him just, just trap our major. Because why would I do that? Yeah, let's see, is he going to bring down another piece to trap it? He might. That would be the smart thing to do. That's interesting, okay. Well, let's just move right. I'm not entirely sure what the point of that was. <laughs> and he gets to give us a free lieutenant in the center as well, so... He's gonna take that. So this guy is making some mistakes, so, this so it'll probably make this challenge a lot easier. Let let's just go... Kick you could go up, because we could take that piece and still be winning in D-square. Ooh, lieutenant, yeah, that that's really good. So now, if I lose that major, I won't really care. Because I got a captain and a, and a lieutenant with it, so it's totally fine to lose it. Okay, so that colonel used to cut just kind of two, two squaring me, but I'm gonna win two squares, so jokes on him. Okay, that that might not be another colonel. I mean, it probably isn't. It could be the general or the marshal. I'm not really sure how to feel about that. Okay. Hmm. I could move right. I, I don't. I want to actually. I want to either move right or lotto. Hmm. I think that. I think that that could be the marshal. I don't really want to do that. Like you got to scout. I, mm, yeah, so we, we can always scout that piece. That was my logic behind that because we're gonna lose the major regardless. So I might as well just scout that. Since he moved in, that, that makes me think they're both bombs. Okay, that that's a bomb. So they're probably both bombs. So we find, if I find a bomb, at least that's good. Now we can scout that piece. I hope it's the marshal or the general. I would assume it's the marshal. Let's see what it is. That's interesting. It's a major. It was backing in colonel, so that is pretty interesting. We're obviously just not going to let him take a lieutenant for free. So I'm, I'm going to make him think that it's backed. By just holding it there, obviously. Let's see what that is in the left. It's just, just a sergeant, so we're, we'll trade that off. At this point, we're up a major. Sorry, down a major, up a captain. We're up two lieutenants up two sergeants yeah so up a lot of lower pieces that could be something good because it is chasing a captain um why did he scout that i'm pretty sure that was a known lieutenant yeah well this just shows why this why this, this guy's still in bronze it's probably because a he he um he let, let me have a few free pieces and b his memory's not that great I mean, granted my, my memory's not, not that great either i do use a stratego board next to me to, to keep track of pieces but <laughs> So that, that's probably either a captain or a major. It's a major, okay. So I, fi I fi figure as much. I doubt we'll hit the captain. He might, but this guy's not the type of player. And he's not not very risky. I'm putting up with that piece. That's interesting. Okay, let's advance him to the left. See what we can find. I probably should should cover my colonel soon. But I don't have much to worry about right now. Okay. I'm just gonna move the colonel up because I can be aggressive with my colonels because I do know one of his colonels. Looks like he's facing over there on the right. I don't know what he's doing over there. Mo moving a lot of pieces. You never want to move that, that many pieces. That's such a lesson. You shouldn't do that. So I'm going to see if I can take that piece with, with a captain rather than revealing, revealing the colonel. Okay, so he won't let me, so I'll just take it. It's a lieutenant. So this guy has no lieutenants left, which is not a good thing. Oh, he also he also has no, no sergeant, so at this point, I know that every piece he brings down is either a miner, a scout, a spy, or something higher th than a lieutenant, which is really good. Because this means I can use my sergeants and find at least a captain. So yeah, lieutenants and sergeants, they're, they're not very good at like, capturing things, but the thing is, you never you never want, want to lose all four of them, because then your opponent knows that piece is not that, and then they know that's either a really good piece, or like, a decent high piece or like a really bad piece so so right now in this game my sergeants are actually very important because 
this, this guy he has to take him with captains, majors, colonels, or other martial general. I can I can take all the matters that he brings up. So let's chase chase this major. He, he, he doesn't know that our he doesn't know what our major is. So I'm curious to see what, what he defends it with. So let's keep keep on him. Looks like he might two square me all the way there, which is interesting. Which, that makes me think that 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 it's not backed. But I'm guessing it is by something over there. Okay, so he moved that up, which is interesting. Look at the sergeant over to see what that is at some point. If he advances on it, then I'll probably just exchange majors. Wouldn't be great, but whatever. Let's move up with the sergeant. Interesting. Let's let's just trade off majors now, because I want I want to actually trade them off. Okay, okay. So that, that was just good. So that, that was a decent bluff on that guy's part. He kind of made, made me think that was a high piece. So yeah, decent, decent bluff, I will say. Okay, that piece it was defending a major, so that makes me think it could be the Marshal or General, but y you never know. Okay, I don't know what kind of a campaign he's starting on the right, but he doesn't. You can't, you can't really get anything with that. Okay, yeah. So that, that was just minor. I figured as much because it came, it came from the back row. So like, you can't really expect much from those pieces. But let's just move the lieutenant back because we were acting like, like, like the bomb was a good piece. Okay, let's continue to do that. He's, looks like he's skewering it. Oh, he's gonna go down to the sergeant. Interesting, yeah. That was a pretty obvious bomb because he gets on the other side of the board, the same spot, it was a bomb, and you just symmetrical setup. These lower players often have them. Okay, so that's that, that's a captain. Interesting, so I'll just move up on that, see what, see what happens if, he, if it'll exchange or something. Okay, interesting, so that piece moved away, so I'll just move up on that because it's a free piece. I'm not really sure why that guy did that. He could have just exchanged captains, so let's see, let's see what that is. Free minor, okay. So this guy, he has he's still still three minors. Okay, so there's a colonel. So we know, we know, do we know both of these colonels? Yeah, we do. So we know both of these colonels. Um, that piece, who knows what that is? Okay, it's going for the back row. That's interesting. Okay, again, a lot of the back row. I assume it's a minor then if he's going to go that far down. Maybe look, looking for the flag. Okay, that's a major. That's that's like the worst possible scenario. I just hope he didn't lotter the captain because he didn't he didn't lotter it before. Okay, that's not good. He didn't lotter it before, so I didn't think I didn't think he would lotto it now. But I guess he would. Get the new lottoing? Probably. Ugh. I don't want to re reveal my marshal for a major, so I'm just gonna hold. Hope he goes up. Okay, or down. That works too. So he, he hit that bomb finally. So now the good thing about doing that is that he will not expect my, my marshal to be anything of value because it would have it would have hit his major. If he didn't want to reveal that is. So he's bringing another piece down, maybe to, to continue the lotto. So let's just move this guy in and just see if we can get any good information. It's, pre it's pretty obvious bluff, but this guy might not know that. Okay, let, let's just chase chase that colonel, because we can. Keep chasing it. Let's see if we can find the marshal or something, because marshals typically guard colonels. Okay, um, I kind of want to hit that. Could move away, but it might, might as well hit it. Okay, so that is the marshal. That was the spot. It would be better if just got in a free marshal. So we know, we know the marshal, which is very good information. We only, we only had to give up a scout for it, which is perfect. So at this point in the game, we, we're down a captain, but we're up so many lower pieces, and also we know the guy's marshal. So I'm just gonna take the captain because no, the, sorry, the captain took me. I'm smart. Okay, so his marshal's coming over there, which is interesting. I can't really get anything there, so I'm not really sure what his plan is. I doubt he'll come down very far because it's pretty. Uh, the spy is, it's not very obvious, but it's relatively obvious. Okay, he's skewering my lieutenant. Is he gonna hit it this time? Nope. Okay, he might, might be coming to scout my marshal. Not really sure. So, so he knows that one bomb. Don't think he knows any other bombs, but he can suspect. Be the piece in, in, in the bomb on the far left is a bomb. Let's see if our sergeant can get any info here. Maybe, maybe, maybe the gen. I'll, I'll be very surprised. But yeah, since he, this guy has no sergeants or lieutenants, again, bringing up a sergeant is very good because he has to reveal a captain for it or higher. We, we could even move in on that, to be honest. Okay, we'll be, we, we get a free scout with the sergeant. Now we can hit something if, if we want to, or we can retreat. 
I think I'm gonna retreat just because I'm pretty sure that that's a bomb to the right. Okay, so you check the lieutenant with the captain. So, so yeah, um, so yeah, that's not great, but it's whatever. Okay, I don't want to reveal the marshals, so okay, yeah, I probably sh shouldn't have done that. I think, yeah, that, that was that was not like a play on my part. So let's bring the colonel over. He might he might take the scout because the captains aren't aren't, like, aren't extremely valuable. Let's see what he does here though. Go down, which is that's very wait, that bomb's known. Why, why would he do that? Wait, he just hit the same bomb twice. He already hit that with the major, now he hit it with the captain. So, so that bomb from the random setup bomb formation is being very useful right now. Let's do that trick. See if he hits, hits that bomb in the front because we did move the lieutenant over. Uh, no, it looks like he's not not gonna buy it. So, so let's let's just retreat with the colonel. He might go to, for the marshal because this guy is kind of risky. Okay, look, looks like he does so. It's basically a free colonel at basically no cost, but that kind of makes sense because he had no reason to suspect that I was the marshal of general because he bring he bring a major down earlier and it went and it would have hit it. So yeah, at this point, this game is quite in our favor. We have all of our high pieces around there. This challenge makes me think that I probably should have been a harder challenge. Okay, yeah, I suspected that was the gen. So when it was gen, he he might get that free lieutenant, but. At this point, I'm totally fine with that because I'm, I'm up a colonel. So at least, at least this guy does know how to counterattack though, because I did reveal him my marshal. So we'll go ahead and trade that off. And so at this, this point in the game, we are up a colonel, up a captain, up a lieutenant. We're, we are even on sergeants. Uh, I believe we're down a minor and down two scouts, which is no, no big deal. So yeah, we're de definitely winning because we're up some lower pieces. Okay, I wonder... Hmm. Okay, that's a scout. I don't think he can get our spy, though. That's the, th the thing, because we, we have two square. But I will say that that's a pretty good board read, but even if he does get it, it, it won't really matter because mar our marshal is going to be in the center. Okay, oh yeah, he's, pro he's probably getting a scout up in the left. Not much I can really do about that, so... That backer piece of scout okay, probably is, right? Yeah, okay. That was, that was well, well, well hit on his end. He, he did board read me, which is pr pretty okay. pretty good on his part. But I can just get that Batman Marshal to the center and, and, it, and it won't even matter. So yeah, this, I can't really do much at this point. Marshall over to the left. Who knows what that piece is? Okay, that's the marshal, right? I think that's the marshal. I don't even know. <laughs> to be honest, I've completely forgot where his marshal is, but I'm pretty sure it's in the on, it's on the left. And I'm pretty sure he he just trapped it. Since his marshals on the left, I'm pretty sure at least I can get I can get both my colonels up the center. This will be this will be very good. So, so that, that that's a colonel in the center. I already know that he, he's gonna trade. Okay, that's to be expected. But we we, we need another colonel. That's the thing, and th this man doesn't. Okay, um, does he offer me a piece to, tr to free his marshal? Probably take it because this game it's it's kind of a little bit close. Not really, but so he's choosing, choosing to. That's very interesting. That makes you think the piece, the other piece you just, just, just save is the spy. I don't think that's the spy, but it's a free piece nonetheless. So that's very interesting. So we forked um, so a piece and a major with our colonel, and he, and he chose to, to lose the major, which is I found very interesting because considering that's his highest piece besides the marshal. So yeah, I think that could that could that could be the spy. Personally, I would have saved the major in that situation because. It's because the spy is basically worth, worthless, worthless frame at this point. So I'm not really sure what this guy's doing here, because so that major hasn't moved, so he's going. He can't. He can't even get the colonel. That's the thing. So let's go after the, that that potential spy. I guess okay. It's, it's just gonna move away. We could trap it with a miner though. I guess. Okay. Well, we we just two squared it. So. 
square all the way down if this if this is gonna be like that. If the new players to about T square, they're probably they're probably like like how come I keep losing this this T square thing? How come I keep getting this message? It doesn't make any sense. Let's just keep keep just keep T squaring this piece all the way down. So this is probably hoping that I move my marshal next to, to trap it. He's just gonna two square. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna trap this thing. I think it's, it's a spy because he's he, again he saved over a major, so I'm gonna make sure to not move ne next to it with a marshal. So I'm gonna marshal up, colonel left, and then that piece is mine. Guessing the spy. That's what I would assume. Pro probably gonna move it right to like get the like, last ditch attempt to get my marshal. It's not gonna happen though. He's thinking about this. I mean, there's not really much he can do. So, yeah. So, so he's just gonna let me have it. Was it the spy? Yes, it was. So, I figured as much. Just relatively obvious. Having an obvious spy is, it, it's just not not a good thing. Because it can't really get much done unless you like block block a lane with it, which I guess could be effective. So we we know his marshal, and other than that, he just has one captain, and then he basically has nothing. So, so yeah, that, that's gonna be game. So he has a marshal, two miners, and a scout, and then just bombs in the flag. So at this point, I know that I'm pretty sure he has five high bombs. He had six, but I defused one of them. Well, that's a very strange setup. Six high bombs. All those pieces. So all those bombs were in the first two rows. That is a very, very interesting setup. Bringing the marshal over. I think it's the marshal, yeah. Okay, so that's probably a minor. It could be a scout, but I think it's a minor. So at this point, I could just start lottoing the pieces in the back. Because, you know, it's pretty obvious this guy has. Well, he, he made a setup with all of his bombs in the front two rows. I mean, it, it, it got him a major, but I won bomb. That got a major and a captain, so. Yeah, I could lotto that back row piece. I don't know if that's a bomb or I mean, it could, it could be a bomb. I don't think it is, but you know, you never know. So I'm just gonna do this piece. I can trap it with with my marshal or even with my captain, because I'm totally fine with exchanging captains. <laughs> yeah, I think he, he just got the two square message. So, so yeah, let's just keep going down on this piece. Then we, we, we can move, move the captain up, or we can just keep going. Yeah, yeah, let's just hit that captain exchange. Yeah, I figured as much. So. Now this guy has some miners, a scout, and a marshal. Not much, much. So yeah, this guy doesn't have much. So I really want to get his flag with my marshal. I think that that would be pretty cool. You know, I'll get 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 those style points. So let's see if I can do that. I'm just gonna bring a miner up to defuse those bombs. I guess I don't, I don't really know. I'm trying to tra trade miners or pin his marshal so I, so I so I can get the flag with my marshal. He's gonna do that, okay? Get a lieutenant out. He will, we can take that bomb if we want to, but I'm, I'm not gonna move my major up instead, okay? Mm. Just get, get, keep getting the lieutenant out. Okay, we can t take that bomb now, though. I guess, I guess we can keep going up, because, you know. Those pieces that both moved, I'm just gonna go right, just because, I don't know. Let's see if that's the minor. I think that's the scout, but you never know. Okay. It's, it's the minor. So this guy's one minor, one scout, and a marshal. It's pretty strange. Okay, he can't just take our major that easily. We're on the diagonal. I think he's got the, got the, two, the two, two square message. Yep. Taking some time to press OK on that. See what this guy's gonna do now. So there aren't really many options. He knows he can't go down, or a major's gonna be free. Well, he did go down. Okay, he might just stay on it. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna lead, lead his marshal over to the left. I could just just take a hit with other pieces. Even if I lose the major, it's no big deal. Okay. So that was, that was another minor. I'll hit the corner because it could be the flag. I don't think it is. I think it's in 
the second most popular flag spot in the game, which is in, in the back. The, the only piece in the back row is, of course, besides the marshal. So we can get three square here, or we can lead in like all the way down. So then I can get the flag with the marshal. Probably, I don't even know. This is kind of boring to watch. This two squaring. So I guess I'll just talk about the, the future like videos. So I'm, I'm thinking about ma making a new series with, with um, like besides this one. So, so I'm gonna have three main series. One's gonna be the um, just the classic ranked game series. One's gonna be this challenge series. Where I guess if, if you guys want want to see me do specific challenges that you're interested in, you you can put it put it put it put it in the comments the comment section. And then I'm also gonna, gonna do some challenges. I'm gonna try to do some creative ones other than j just like the, the flag up front challenge. The shoreline bluff challenge, the random setup challenge, like, like some actually like some variation to that. And then I'm also gonna have one where I where I play without a strategic board to help me, which is, which is gonna, gonna be like a me memory training, like, ugh, memory training, I guess, because I always use use a strategic board because my my memory isn't that great. But I think I, I want to get it to be better, so I'm just gonna just, I'm gonna leave as much all the way to the left so then I can. Hit that piece with my, my marshal for those style points, you know? So yeah, if you guys want to see any more challenges, make sure to leave those in the comment section. I will be trying to do as many as I can, probably on, on this account, and as, as I can continue to get higher up, the challenges will be diff more difficult to do, of course, because I'm facing better people. So let's see, see if this is the flag. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Pre pre pretty nice win against this guy. He was a lot, a lot lower rated than, like, my main account so yeah thank you guys for watching and make sure to be like and subscribe and i will see you guys later